Hey guys, Rum Stylus here, and welcome to a new episode of Playtime. This time I am playing The Page Master. That was released in 1994, and I am playing this on the Super Nintendo. There you go, let's get into the game. Now this game is of course based on the 1994 film of the same name, The Page Master, which stars Macaulay Culkin and Christopher Lloyd. And that film was part, it's very similar to uh, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, where it was part filmed and part animated, and obviously this game takes place in the animated book world, and we have to get through the horror level, horror horror world of the game, and oh, and just like that I've died, so I've got to be careful. Okay. The uh, Macaulay Culkin character was very much a, uh, well it's unfair to call him a, a wimp, but um, you know, he didn't have a lot of courage and he was very shy. And uh, I, I remember playing this game back when I had a Super Nintendo, I sadly no longer have it, um, unfortunately. It got sold off. But I remember this was one of the games I had for it. One of the few as games at the time were quite expensive and uh, I always enjoyed it, it was, it was um, a fun platformer I'm a big platform fan as you know oh, oh I've got to be very careful here you very much have the uh, Mario ability to stomp on the enemies but uh, it's best just to avoid everything because you can run quite fast and there we go, that's the end of the first level I also remember going to see the Page Master film back in, in the cinemas back in 94 and uh, I really enjoyed it, it's a, it's a good fun film. I've always enjoyed Christopher Lloyd and whatever he's done. Of course Back to the Future being a classic. Now this game was, was being released on the Super Nintendo which is why I'm playing it on, it's also was released on the Mega Drive, that's the Sega Mega Drive, as well as the Game Boy as well. Oh, careful. As well as uh, this game also released on the... Oh, come on, I just lost my ammo. This game was also released on the PC, however... Oh, that's the end of that level. It was also released on PC, as I was saying. So, and that game was very much... And that was an interactive game, it had very little to do with the plot. Because nowadays, we we're very used to multi-platform releases. So, we don't grab that, come on, there you go. We're very used to multi-platform releases, so when we see games developed by different publishers, we don't often expect them to be different from each other, but this was a time when games were sometimes produced by different developers and we got different versions of them, which was kind of cool. We don't really see that that often. Some of these levels are very short. I really like the the art style of this game, it's very very dark and gothic, or at least this section of the game is. It's very very atmospheric for the music and the mist effects, it, uh, it works very well. Wait now and jump. 
and jump again. Careful, careful, careful. And up we go, collecting these keys. Not exactly what the, the what they used for. But there's a power up there, so let's grab that. Oh, actually, yep, was a, I think that was a save point. I'll probably be using that later if I'm not careful. There we go, and got to, oh, oh, careful, well, that's not hard to get back up there, there we go, it's a good thing that you can jump quite high in this game, you need it. And there is the exit, awesome. And I think we're about to go, yes, we're about to go over the page, into the Library Phantom. But no, I, I really enjoyed playing this game back in the day, it was a lot of fun. And even though the film itself didn't get a very good critical reception, it was, I, I really enjoyed it, of course I was about three or four at the time when when it came out so i have recently watched this watched the film and you know i i think it still holds up today you often hear where where um with people liked something and they watch it years later and they, and they think it wasn't as good as they remembered it i've never had that experience and oh i'm just i've died Okay, I'm gonna get ready for the Library Phantom. But now, as I was saying, thank you, Page Master. As I was, oh come on, that was terrible. Let's try that again. But as I was saying, I've never been the type of person to change my mind on something I've liked. Uh, even if it was years and years ago, if I've liked a film or a book, then and if I read it, it get, or revisit it years later, I, I still very much enjoy it. I, I still think the Power Rangers movie, the first one, was re really awesome, and I still think that today. And, okay, good, end of the level. And, okay, Terror in the Tower. I think this level is a bit more cunning. So, oh, okay. Jump! Oh, oh, no! Oh, oh! Okay. Now, oh, let's try to be careful this time. Oh, no, very nearly. Oh, careful! Oh, no, jump! Oh, man. You can see the exits in sight there. Oh, no, oh, nuts. Um, okay. Well, anyway, guys, I think I'm going to stop things here. I've been playing the Page Master for the Super Nintendo. Remember to follow me on Facebook and Twitter for all my updates. And I will see you guys next time. So until then, peace out, guys.